Anderson from Southern Stitches and So and So Sewing Journal. And today uh, we're going to talk about pleaters, uh, how to take the needles out, and how to put the needles back in. Um, I have two pleaters here. I have a pull in pleater, which is a, a 16 row. I have the needles set in half space, and these are called short needles. And then I have Sally Stanley 24 row pleater and I have my needles set at full space. Um, we're just going to work on this pleater because both pleaters work pretty much the same way. Um, this side of the pleater is called of course the needle side and if you look at the back of the pleater this would be called the gear side. Um, now, d there's different ways of pleating your fabric. Some people keep their pleater this way. They crank on this side, feeding their fabric through, and they pull their fabric off this way. Um, I pleat with the needles facing me and feeding the fabric in back here, cranking and pulling the fabric off this way. Uh, it doesn't matter how you do it, uh, it's just a matter of preference, whatever is most comfortable for you. On every pleater, there are two set screws on either side of these gear rods. And we're going to loosen them and pull them off. Well, we're not going to completely unscrew them, we're just going to loosen them up enough to raise this little piece of metal lever to be able to remove that rod. Okay, just like that and then carefully just roll the rod out. Now you can see that the needles are all laying um, in grooves across these rods. Um, there are four rods that make up the mechanism of a pleater. To, to remove the needles you're just going to carefully remove each one. You can remove them in pairs or whatever. You're going to take them off just like that. And when you go to, re to put them back in, and I'm not going to remove them all, and I want to show you too, there are half space rows on this pleater. Every pleater, I believe, has half space rows. Um, and you, can, you could add a needle in between each of these if you want. Um, for me, the beauty of having two pleaters is that I can have one set with half space rows and I have the other one set in full space rows. Um, the needles of a pleater, as you can see, are bent. They're kind of in an S shape and this allows for them to work around these gears that are on uh, the pleater. Um, you want to, as you put needles in, you want to really look at them and make sure that they all look uniform, they're all nice, nothing's bent. If they're bent, it's going to cause a problem when you pleat. And um, bent ones, you need to just throw them away um, because they'll cause puckers and everything else. If you're having a problem of puckering when you're pleating something up, um, many times it can be because you have a bent needle. So um, look at your needles often. So you're just going to take your needle and you're going to put the that lower dip is going to sit right into the pleater like that. You're going to let it go right into a groove. And it should fit in there just nicely like that. Okay. And you're going to work your way down the pleater and put your needles in. It's very easy. It's really not any trouble doing it. And for some reason I'm struggling. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. Just like that. It's usually not a struggle to put them in. I don't know what was causing the trouble. All right. 
you can put in as many needles as you want or as few needles as you want. You know, it's a good thing too to feel the end of your needle. If there's a burr, like I'm feeling a burr on the end of this needle, I'm not going to put this one back in because it's going to cause problems with plating. So it's good to, to feel the end and make sure that you're not feeling any kind of a burr on the end of that needle. So you're just going to seat them right into the grooves. Once you get in as many as you want, and like I said, you can fill the whole thing up or you can just put in however many rows you're going to pleat. Um, it doesn't matter because when I, when you pleat, you're going to pleat from this edge in your rows. And say you're doing just nine rows, well, you know, you're going to stop there and these needles aren't going to be going through any fabric to put holes in it. So it's okay to fill up as many, to put as many needles in as you want. So once you get your needles put in, you're going to take your, your rod and you're going to lay it in there and you're just going to let it roll into place. Okay, just like that. You're going to flip these little um, gear holders in place. You're going to take your screwdriver and you're just going to snug, just snug it up. You don't want to make it real, real tight um, because it might cause your, it'll be too tight to crank. So snug it up. Don't go too loose or it will come on screwed and then your your bar starts to pop out which ca will cause problems when you pleat too. So once you get that snugged up, turn this both ways and make sure everything flows freely and then you're good to go. That's all there is to it and um, I hope that this tutorial has helped you and please visit my blog at soandso.blogspot.com. Thank you. Thank you.